Hello and welcome to yet another educative episode on this channel. Today we're going to look at questions and answers in the just ended NTC literacy exam. Specifically, we'll look at part B of the exam and how we can approach literacy questions in general. If this is your first time on this channel, subscribe and share our content. Also, leave us a comment on your thoughts on how you think these answers should be answered. Without much further ado, let's jump into the questions. The part B consists of two parts and we have the comprehension aspect and then the essay aspect. So the first aspect is the comprehension and this is the comprehension. You have to read this comprehension and answer the questions that follow. So I'm going to read through this comprehension and then we'll look at the questions that follow and see how best we can answer those questions. Two old men were sitting under the big mango tree at the heart of the village as the town's force passed by. Everybody in the town knew where the two would be at that time of the day. Therefore, nobody was surprised to find them there. They sat quietly drinking palm wine and puffing their pipes, apparently lost in thought. Suddenly, the attention was drawn to a scene which was both interesting and scary. Two dogs, Whiskey and Victory, were engaged in a fight. Whiskey was a brown dog with white hair around his eyes. This made him look very fearful. He was always barking at strange things. Victory, on the other hand, was a black dog, gentle and friendly to both adults and children. When the fight started, everybody thought Victory would be no match for Whiskey. The latter was the first to attack. He jumped up with his four legs raised mouth opened and gripped the back of his opponent's neck with his sharp teeth. Victory went down with whiskey on top of him. Victory played it cool as if he did not feel the pain. The spectators therefore concluded that the more aggressive whiskey had won the fight. Suddenly, the tide changed. Victory got hold of whiskey's hind legs and beat it very hard, as if to break a bone. Whiskey, who could not bear the pain, yelped and bolted with his tail between his legs. So this is the passage. Now let's look at the questions that we need to answer under this particular passage. So the questions are here. The first one is, why was it not strange for the two old men to be found under the mango tree at that time? B. What were the old men doing under the tree? C. Identify the two differences between the two dogs. D. Why did everyone take whiskey to win the fight? E. Explain the expression, victory would be no match for whiskey. And F. The latter was the first to attack. Who does the latter refer to? So these are the questions and this is what we need to answer. Now let's look at the answers for these questions from the passage. So the first question is, why was it not strange for the two old men to be found under the mango tree at that time? So this is the answer. It was not strange for the two old men to be found under the mango tree at that time because everybody in the town knew exactly where they would be at that particular time of the day. So you can find this in the passage. So this is the answer to it. The B part here said, what were the old men doing under the tree? The old men were doing something under the tree and first they were sitting down quietly, drinking palm wine, and puffing their pipes and apparently they were also lost in their thought. This is the answer to the B question. Let's look at the next question. Identify two differences between the two dogs. So from the passage, we've got to understand that the two dogs have some differences. One of the differences is that Whiskey was a brown dog with white hair around his eyes while Victory was a black dog. Also, another difference is that Whiskey was always backing at strange things, while Victory was gentle and friendly to both adults and children. These are all except from the passage. The next question, why did everyone tip Whiskey to win the fight? Here is the answer. Everyone tipped Whiskey to win the fight because he was more aggressive than Victory. Then the final question is, explain the expression Victory would be no match for whiskey. The answer here is victory will be no match for whiskey means that victory will not be able to defeat whiskey. And then finally, we have the latter was the first to attack. 
who does the latter refer to? So the answer here is whiskey. That refers to whiskey. So all these answers are obtained from the passage. When you read the passage over and over again, you get to know that these are all answers obtained from the passage. Now let's move on to the second question under part B. The second question is about essay writing. In this section, we are asked to write an essay. So write an essay of 200 words on the topic below. So as a head teacher, discuss two measures you will put in place to improve academic work in your school. Now every piece of essay that is judged to be good must have four cardinal factors that are used to judge it. Otherwise, the writing will fall flat regardless of its intended purpose. Therefore, let's look at these areas that normally the examiners would want to see in your essay. And these areas will guide us on how to write our essay and meet the requirements of NTC. The cardinal factors or the areas of a good essay include one expression. This is how you project your writing for the world to see, read and evaluate. So normally the examiner will check the expression of your writing. This is the first factor that attracts your audience to your writing. You may have heard the saying that you must write to express and not impress. To achieve a good expression in your essay, one, you must use words to connect and create vivid images in your essay. Two, you must use powerful words and emotional triggers. Three, you must also eliminate boring adverbs and dangling modifiers as much as you can. And then four, use active verbs instead of helping verbs or adjectives. So active verbs make your writing to be more alive and dynamic. Then finally, you should also use active voice rather than passive voice. So expression is very, very important to your essay. You must ensure that you put measures in place to express your essay in a vivid manner. Another factor that you need to have in your essay is content. Content is the factor that separates beginner writers from the masters. Content is the substance and the essence of your writing. In short, content is the heartbeat of any great writing. You have heard of the saying that content is king. The story is the same everywhere. Content is the quality of the material you put out. This has to do with the key benefits the readers will extract from your writing to solve their problems or achieve their goals. So in this particular essay, we are to write on points or we are to give measures that will put in place to improve academic performance in a school. Therefore, this is going to be the heading on which our content is going to be hung on. Now, the next point or the next factor of a good essay is organization. This is one of the most difficult aspects of writing. How to organize and arrange your thoughts. Organization is a product of coherence and consistency. How does your thought flow logically? That's what we are looking at here. One idea must lead and link to the next. Therefore, you have to try to plan your writing. Now, to achieve a very good organization in your essay, one, you must outline the key point that you'll be using to develop your point. Two, let each paragraph contain a theme or one main idea. The formatting is a very important part of your organization. Therefore, ensure that your headings, paragraph, bullet, list, and typography appeal for your readers. Any good content and expression can fall flat without good formatting. Therefore, it is a very key part of your organization. The fourth and final aspect of a good essay is mechanical accuracy. Mechanical accuracy is actually a fancy term of saying that your writing should be free of errors. Mechanical accuracy, which is also known as technical accuracy, has to do with your typographical errors, spelling, punctuation, and syntax. You have to make sure you don't have spelling mistakes in your writing. You have to make sure you don't have errors. These are the areas that the examiners will check in your essay. You have to make sure the expression is there, the content is there, organization and the mechanical accuracy. The essay is also to be in a word limit, so 200 words and you have to make sure you exhaust in that 200 words, you have to have your two measures there and that should show the expression, content and organization. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a sample as essay that I've written and I'm going to show you how I've been able to show the expression, 
and then organize my idea or the point to follow and then flow through each other and then also show you how i've been able to put in the necessary punctuation and then check the spelling so this is the essay that i'm going to show it to you and then we'll read through it and see how it is all right so this is the essay that i've written a sample essay that i've written you can equally take this topic and then also try to write something around it in preparation for your ntc examination so this is my essay here and i'm going to read it out to you and you can look at it and also take one or two words from it and also plan your own essay as the head teacher of a school there are two crucial measures i would implement to enhance academic performance among students one professional development for teachers one of the primary ways to improve academic work in our school is to emphasize providing regular professional development opportunities for our teaching staff these workshops and training sessions would focus on modern pedagogical methods incorporating technology in the classroom and strategies to effectively address individual students needs equipping teachers Equipping teachers with the latest research and methodologies will enhance their teaching abilities and create a more conducive learning environment. By investing in the professional growth of our educators, we can foster a strong, innovative and dynamic teaching team, teaching team that positively impacts student academic achievement. 2. Providing students and teachers with the appropriate learning materials. Providing appropriate learning materials to students and teachers is essential in improving academic performance. Learning materials such as textbooks, online resources, and other educational tools can provide students with the information they need to succeed in their studies. Studies suggest that the two most consistent learning characteristics in improving student performance are the availability of TLM, that's teaching and learning materials, and well-trained, prepared, supervised, and motivated teachers. By providing appropriate teaching and learning materials and emphasizing professional development for teachers, we can pave way for continuous improvement in academic work at our school. These measures will not only cater for the diverse needs of our students, but also empower our educators to be more effective facilitators of knowledge and skills. As a result, our school will undoubtedly witness an upward trajectory in academic performance and overall educational excellence. There's my essay. As I said, you can go through it and also try to draft your own essay in preparation for your NTC licensure examination. This essay is supposed to be within a uh, this essay is supposed to be in 200 ways. Therefore, you don't need to have exactly 200 words you can have a little over 200 words or a little less than 200 words therefore don't be perturbed when your essay looks too much just make sure you have the necessary keywords or the necessary words and also it follows the format that i've showed you earlier that's the expression organization mechanical accuracy and then your content because every essay is going to be charged according to these, these four criteria. That's the mechanical accuracy, expression, organization, and then the content. Therefore, make sure these are all included in your essay. Alright, so this is all that I have for you in this particular video. If you have not subscribed to our channel, subscribe, share our content. If you have a comment, leave it in the comment section. We are sure to attend to your comment as soon as possible. This is all that I have for you in this particular video. I will see you in our next video.